Hello everyone, welcome to Code Tover 2023 Day 6. In this video, I kind of wanted to go through something important that I learned yesterday in the live stream with Mofi um, about any point code builder. Well, this is not really about any point code builder, but it came out when we were talking about a point code builder. So I was just trying to figure out what to do for this video. And I went ahead and checked out my Postman extension in VS Code. So I figured maybe we can do something about that. But guess, guess what? You have to sign in to your account to be able to use the extension, which kind of makes sense because it's probably just connecting to the Postman API. But nonetheless, I, it's not really helpful for me because uh, like, I don't want to be signing in every time, you know? I sometimes just want to have local stuff just as you do in the actual Postman application, right? You don't have to be signed in to use it. Anyway, so that got me thinking and I figured why not install the Thunder client that Mofi was talking about yesterday in the live stream. So here we have it, Thunder client. Now let's go check it out. Uh, let's do a new request to just see how it works. Um, get thunderclient.com slash welcome. Okay, perfect. Send. And we get here the 200 okay, the things, the headers. Okay, so we can send headers. We can also do this raw. We can send authentication, basic. Um, bearer. Auth, I don't know what this is, AWS, okay. It has less auths than Postman, I believe, but the ones that I normally use are basic and bearer. So pretty good over there. We have the body, we can send the JSON. Um, we have the tests. Oh, we can also put tests. Okay, perfect. And also the pre-run. So as we were doing in Postman, or as you can do in Postman, you can have a pre-run in the tests. Um, but pre-request script, okay. I think you can add a script, I just don't know how. That's fine. Um, like whatever, we want to just be able to do quick requests, right? So we have query, headers, auth. We can create collections like in Postman and we can add environments like in Postman. So, okay, here you can create a new collection, import um, an environment. You can create a new environment, global environment, local environment, import. Okay. So this is pretty much like a lightweight Postman because Postman is getting bigger and bigger. We have response. We can see the headers from the response, the cookies, the results, if there are tests, the docs, and snippet. Oh, interesting. So you can like kind of select, I guess, so you can run this. Oh. That's cool. I like that one. Uh, let's leave this. What if? Okay. Let's leave this as curl in case I need it. Okay. That's cool. Uh, but I just want to see the response for now. Okay. Uh, now my next question is, can I move this? I think I can't. Uh, manage account extension settings. Oh, convert to Postman. You can even convert this to Postman. That's cool. All right, I dig this. There's a git sync as well. Let's see the extension settings. Uh, let me minimize this. Whatever that is. Standard client step to workspace, workspace relative path. Multi root auto run curl. What is this? Auto run curl requests after import. If disabled, the curl request will not be executed after import. Okay. 
automatically send content type. Yeah. Custom methods. That's all right. Default URL. Editor font size. Uh, follow redirects. HTML report. HTTP version. Indent size. Preview feature. No, that's fine. Request layout. Oh, here it is. So do you want left and right or top and bottom? Oh, but I have left and right. Oh, it's because this was open. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes, this is how I prefer it. Oh, where is it? Uh, so if I change this to top and bottom, oh, do I have to save? Anyway, let's just leave it left and right because that's what I want. Request timeout, response limit. Save request on send. Uh, save token. Default activity, collections, or environment. Ah, yeah, let's leave it as activity. Uh, Thunder client sidebar layout, standard, or compact. What is compact? I don't know. How can I save this? Turn on settings. No. Ah, that's fine. Let's just leave it as that. Um, show activity from collection. Or maybe I have to close it. Is that it? Nope. Okay. Oh, how do I go back? Extension settings. Okay. Let's leave this as sender. I don't know why I'm not getting the results, but that's fine. Thunder client side wire show activity from collection. Show requests excluded from collection in activity tab. Uh, tree indentation. Huh. Sidebar collections. So interesting. Thunder client test value column width. Uh, that's fine. And. No, that's fine. I'm going to remember this because maybe I'm going to need it if I create collections. But for now, let's just leave it like that. OK, cool. So that looks good. This is a great client, uh, REST client. I love it. I'm going to use this from now on. Um, sorry, Postman. Um, you kind of pissed me off when I needed to sign into my account. <laughs> so I'm going to keep using this. All right. Well, that's all for this video. We explored the, again, what's the name? No, Thunder Client. We explored the Thunder Client extension for VS Code. And I have to say, I love it. So I'm going to stop using Postman for now, but I'm still going to keep it here because maybe there are some times that I kind of want to sync my stuff with my Postman account. So I'm just going to leave it there in case I need it. But for now, I'm just going to keep using Thunder Client. All right. That's all for this video. I will see you tomorrow for day seven of GoTober. All right, see you tomorrow then. Bye.